Welcome to basic threading and info on machine number three. That's this machine right here, number three. Um, it will come in a case, um, so it will have a cover on it when it arrives to you, okay? Um, and it has one of those bobbin threading mechanisms um, that uh, uh, we looked at in the video. The difference with this one is that if you recall from watching that video, where you wrap the bobbin is actually at the front on the machine I demoed on. This is exactly the same, but the where you wrap for the bobbin is on the back on this machine. So just make note of that um, if you need to wind a bobbin. You wrap it around this knob back here. The knob isn't at the front. On this machine, your stitch selector knob is this one on the top. And where you want to have it is on this little red dot. It has lines beside it and a zigzaggy wiggle on the other side. That dot means that you're doing a straight stitch. You have no stitch width, okay? You have another knob that is called the stitch width selector, and that's this one right here. Again, with it, you wanna have it on that red dot so that you know that you're doing a straight stitch. That's all you're going to need to do for this class is a straight stitch. This is your stitch length selector. And as you can see, it goes from 8 to 12 and then has a variety of other things here because it does, you can do buttonholes, you can do all kinds of fancy things with a sewing machine. We're just doing a straight stitch. And you want that straight stitch to be a good length, not too short and not too long. So keep it sort of in the middle on that number 10 is the best place for this machine um, to be set for your straight stitch. The other important thing to note on the front of your machine is this is your reverse. Um, when I demo how to do a, a line of straight stitching, you want to do a reverse at the start of your line of stitching and then a reverse again at the end of your stitching. And to do that, you'll hold down on this um, while, you, while you're pushing your foot pedal and stitching and then let it go when you want to go forward again. Okay, so that's pretty important. Your flywheel is over here to the side, just like I demoed in the um, uh, video about uh, uh, winding a bobbin. It has a outer ring and an inner ring. You turn it towards you to turn it up and down. Um, okay. All right. Let's look at threading. You have two choices up here of where to put your thread um, on either of these spindles. I tend to choose the spindle that is closer to all the mechanisms on this side. So put your thread on there, okay? Then you're gonna wanna go across to a keeper that is directly in line with that spindle on this back edge, and that's right here to the back of that. From there, your thread will come forward and will come through this keeper at the front of the machine, okay? Then you'll come down and you'll go through this, which is your tension mechanism. Your tension mechanism is, is very important. Um, it's also pretty important that you don't mess with your tension mechanism. Um, it will come, we will, we will sew with all of these machines, we'll get them set up with the proper um, tension before they leave the shop. And so unless you are in a Zoom session with either um, uh, Julie or myself and we ask you to mess with this um, knob and turn it in any way, please don't do that. Um, that said, it's very important that your thread goes through this tension mechanism and go through it correctly. Okay, so if you look up here, there are two little metal discs back here. And then there's this little metal um, mechanism here. You want the thread to be in front of that metal mechanism and then between those two little discs. So it comes in like that, okay? Then it's going to do this tricky thing where it 
catches underneath this mechanism. So you sort of push this up as you bring the thread. Then it's going to go around this hook that's back here, and then it'll be underneath that and through that hook. Okay, so it comes down, goes through, comes up and around through the hook, underneath that. Then it's going to go up through this keeper right there. Okay, from there it goes straight up and goes through this arm that's at the top. And on machine number three, you're quite lucky. It doesn't, you don't have to thread it through that. It's got this little, if we get that, pull it toward us a little more here. You can see that if you go behind that, well, there you go. You just go behind and it slips through. You can also thread it, just straight, thread it straight through, but it's kind of nice to be able to loop through and go through that without having to thread it through. Then it needs to go back through this keeper, which you can pull it behind, okay? So you're going across, across, down, through, up to this, down, then there's a keeper right here that you want to catch it through. Okay. Then there's a little keeper right at the front of the needle right here that you want to catch it through. Just like that. Okay. Then you can thread it through your needle. Now, we're going to do the bobbin in a minute. This is the only Kenmore that we have that has a drop in bobbin. Um, generally, uh, needle threads the direction that the bobbin goes into the machine. Um, this bobbin is at the front, even though it doesn't go in from front to back, it is at the front of the needle. So you want to thread your needle from front to back. We're going to trim the end of that so that we have a good clean cut to get it through, just like that. And voila. Okay. Now you want to put your bobbin in. The other way in which you're lucky here with machine number three is that you don't really have a bobbin casing to deal with. You've got this drop in bobbin situation. So you just lift that up. If you saw what I did, it just um, it makes sort of a frightening click, but you just sort of pop it up like that and then slide it out, and that opens up. Okay. Your bobbin goes in this little drop in slot right here. and you want to have the thread sort of pulling off to the right like that as you're looking down at the bobbin. Drop it in to that, okay? Then if you can see this little, uh, there's a little notch right there. Put your thread into that little notch and then bring it across that little notch right there, okay? Then Hold on to your thread, your top thread, with your left hand. Take your flywheel over here on the side. Turn it toward you like that, which will make your needle go down. Your needle will go down. Keep turning it towards you. And you can actually see the looper go around and catch and then bring that thread up to the top. Then pull that thread out and then your threads are on the top. Take your bobbin cover, it just sort of sits in, those two little hinges go in like that, and then click it down into place. And you're done, you're ready to stitch.